but that doesn't matter because today we're doing another tutorial. So, pretty much, I have a client who decided that she wanted to have a second outfit go with her birthday uh, ensemble, and this is going to represent her country. So, the second outfit is a simple um, bando top as well as a high waisted short, except since she's Haitian from Haiti. Yay, I love Haiti. Um, <laughs> I just forgot what I was anyway, so The color scheme is red, white, blue, and of course that emblem. So let's go over the supplies. Um, I'm not sponsoring Joanne's. They don't pay me to do this. I'm just letting you know the things that I found over there. Oh, with this process. Okay. So, over there on sale, I found the bra cups. And this is a CD cup version. And I also got the, I believe it's B to C. Because, well, sometimes people are B's to C's and sometimes females are C's and D's. And she was in the C range, so I just wanted to make sure just in case. So you can either buy these with their own clearance for like $3.64 at Joann's. So it definitely works out. Or, you don't have the funds for that. You can just use an old bra for a pattern. This will be your secret bra. Or you can use a um, thrift store bra or a bra that you've had for a long time. Just as a pattern. Now, if you want to use your bra put inside the ensemble you can do that too anyway so we got our pad of bra that's going to go inside of our bantu top fabric we have clips for the deck for the back <laughs> for the deck for the back yes we have clear elastic yes and this is less than a dollar and you can get this walmart i got this all this stuff i got i got from joanne's oh, awesome joanne's yay and lastly some spandex fabric. We have our red, which will be our top, and then we have the white, which will be our bottoms. So, let's get to it. I forgot to say, the biggest thing, whether you're doing the Haitian flag, American flag, uh, working Trinidad, or wherever you're from, Her flag we're big enough for the outfit that we're going to do and then cut into and I'm not sponsoring this place either but I got it from it's called belt outlet so much more than belts as you can see up here belt outlet Sorry guys, my phone cut out but let's just get into the tutorial. So pretty much I took the flag and I folded it in half where I had the red at the top, blue at the bottom, and you see where I pinned it, that's where you're going to put a seam at. You're gonna sew that down on the left and on the right and leave a hole in the middle. I'm turning it inside out so you can see an example of how it's gonna look like when it's sewn, except it just has the pins in it. So it just gives you a visual of how it's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. Nice crisp. And you see how big the print is. And we're gonna be making a bow, so when you squinch it in, it gives you a visual of exactly how the bow will look when it's on top of the bra. And also in that section, that's where you're gonna put the bow piece to make it look like an actual bow. So I pinned it in place. Be careful as you do this, because you can get poked. And at this point, I'm just folding it in so I can get a better look of how it's going to be if I decide to sew it at least two inches inward on both sides to get that pretty bow look. See how cute it's coming out? And placing my bra down so I know just how well it's going to look on top or if it's going to look bad. And I think that fits really nice. Actually, I like that. So right there, about an inch or two, I'm going to take it in. And on yours, usually 
you'll cut off those ends that you don't need and then you'll turn it back the other way inside out where the wrong side is facing and you'll sew those edges. And as you can see, I'm cutting. My scissors actually got stuck because I had a pin right there. So I had to remove the pin and then cut the fabric off. And that extra sex fabric, you can either keep it to use it for something else or just throw it away. And like I mentioned before, now we're turning it back to the wrong side, which is facing on the wrong side of the fabric. Or inside out, as some will say. But this is technically the wrong side of the fabric because it's not the nice looking part. And you're going to sew on the left, sew down the right. And that's where your closure will be. And then you'll sew on the middle side, except leave a small hole so you can pull the fabric through. And again, remember, be careful as you pin because it will hurt if you poke yourself with a pin. And we're just going to take some of our excess fabric so we can make the tie that goes in the middle of the bow so it will look like an actual bow. And I'll make a tutorial on how to actually do that, like fold it to the side, both sides in, fold it again, and sew. And then you'll fold in half over the fabric and sew the bottom. And that's how. It's something super easy. There's so many YouTube videos about it. And I used about a finger with sew and it came out just fine. With your finger width is about an inch and, or an inch and a half depending on how long your fingers are. I have small hands. But as you can see, that looks like it's going to be very pretty. Yep. And you have successfully created the bow. Next. This is an illustration I did of my client and it has all her measurements from the fitting that we did. And it's gonna be a whole high waisted short. So we have a measurement for how high it is. And around her hip area and how big her the back end of her is. So pretty much make sure your fabric is on the stretchy side. And since I'm a medium and she's a large, I know I have to go an extra inch or so to make these medium size shorts a large size. So yeah, these shorts will be cut straight across and the leggings really help because they're already pre-made and everything. And all you're gonna do is take it up to the height that you feel will be best. And for me, I feel like that's how high they should go. So they're not booty shorts, but they fit nicely. And I placed it on the fold and I'm just gonna cut out the shape around it and that will give us the front side of our shorts.
And as you can see, I'm going to go up in an angle because I actually created two versions of this. One with straight across leg and the one that has an angular leg just to see how it will come out. Depending on some clients, they like theirs a little bit short. I don't believe she does, so that's why I always make two samples. But we always make sure that you cut on the part where it's going to have the most stretch because we don't want spandex shorts that actually don't fit that are stationary so that's our front perfect now time to do our back end and because you got to understand that your back end is much larger so i actually flip the leggings to the other side as well as you can see her behind is a about 43 inches and it's gonna be down the back end through the legs is about 13 inches so I always give about an extra inch would have been like 14 inches instead. And that gives us just enough room. And then we're going to fold our leggings back up so we can cut them in the right side. And the crotch area will still be about nine inches long for her and everyone's different. So make sure you measure those parts of your body so you can get the right size on your shorts. And this goes for pants as well. Your front is always going to be smaller than your back because most people, unless you have no behind, but most people tend to, even if it's small. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Don't slice your finger. Cut, cut, cut. And I always have to be careful because sometimes I have stuff so like in the way or around me that I can accidentally cut into my measuring tape or ruin the scissors when you cut on pins you don't not supposed to slice your pins And at this point, now we'll open them up and lay them on top of each other. In the end, I decided um, after looking at it to slice right down the middle. That way I have two front pieces that were the same that will sew together as well as two back pieces that will sew together. Because if you sew them together like this, they won't match up properly. And one side will be larger than the other. So I'll remember to do that. So you will have two side seams, one on the left and one on the right. In order to avoid doing this, if any, if you understand this, if you've been sewing for a while, um, you would lay the leggings on your fabric uh, twice to get what you're looking for. But I'm going to do a tutorial on that too, so don't worry. So for y'all who get confused about, wait a minute, what do you mean? You know, so I can have a seamless short or a seamless legging uh, to fold the fabric and things. Don't worry. We'll have also a separate tutorial just for that so I don't confuse you. <laughs> All right. On to the next part. So this is the bandu top. And the way you do this is you're going to make a rectangle. You're not going to make it round. You need a rectangular piece. And what I do is I measure how long the bra is itself. And it's showing it's about six. You can go to seven. That's why I do give it an extra inch, remember, to sew with. And the length, she's a 36C, so we want to make sure our bandos, it's going to be a 36C. And that's a trick that I know how to do. You fold it over, that way you have the same length going down. So instead of it just being 7, it's going to be 14. So you're going to cut off a 14. Fourteen by thirteen rectangle. No, I'm sorry, not fourteen by thirteen. That's probably fourteen by four or three, depending on how big you want yours. Because this is just going to be the rectangular part that that's going to be on top of the bra pads. 
because we're going to also create the angular pieces, the angular triangles that are going to be the closure for the bandeau top. So, see I've pinned. After everything's pinned in place, you will cut it. you see easy peasy now we're gonna open it up there we go and then fold it in half and find exactly the spot that you want your cups to be at and so since I want to make sure the cups are going to be sewn in there properly you're gonna take the suck cups out the packet and you're gonna lay them in the sections that you want and the internal side is where like this the the sewing seams will be at so you see how I'm pushing them out and placing them where I want perfect and I'm gonna pin them in place and make sure I only go through one layer of fabric do not go through both layers because that'll look tacky you're gonna only go through one layer so pin right in the middle and make sure they're just the right amount apart and remember you won't see these these are going to be inside of the rectangle and i'm really happy i was able to purchase these from joann's and not have to order them off of amazon or something like that so it's just so much easier where you can purchase and go about your way and these pads really come in handy especially when you just need that extra oomph it's not super padded but it's padded just enough so definitely enjoyed this and you see that little tab at the end we don't need that so hold it down and pin it in place and then you're going to hand sew those in place and remember you won't see these because this will be on the inside after you sew it so don't worry too much and remember try your best to stay on one single layer of the fabric do not go through both pieces now we're going to flip it so you can see ta-da those little humps perfect exactly what you need to make it look great and perfect and have the girls sitting right in place with no problem so with this rectangle when I turn it back to the wrong side I will sew the bottom and keep the or to keep the sides open that way I can put the triangles on the sides and be done have the uh, extend extended <laughs> I forgot the word the hook closure to help it close so we have just enough stretch, we have padded boobs, and the, just the perfect bandeau top. So, here's the triangle piece for those who are wondering what the triangle was. And as you can see, we've got 9 inches in length. And if you measure from end to end, it'll show you exactly the bra uh, back length. And like I said, she's a 36C, and this is definitely 36 across. So I'm glad I double checked that so I wouldn't mess her up. And pretty much you cut off both your triangles and you fold them in half if you want and you sew. So let's see the final result. Thanks for watching everyone. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.